Hey everybody, Jim here with another video for you. This is the ranking of the Friday the 13th franchise. But before I begin at the end of this video, if you like what you see, please consider giving me a thumbs up, a possible subscribe. Most importantly, leave comments below. Let me know what your rankings are. Let me know how you feel about these films. Now there are 12 Friday the 13th films in a 29 year span. The first came out in 1980. The last, the reboot, came out in 2009. And as you can see, I own the Scream Factory Friday the 13th box set, which is a beautiful box set. Just about everybody who's a fan in, in the States has this. Uh, absolutely love this box set. And again, it, it, the artwork covers everything. And in addition to the movies as well, it comes with a nice book. And a bonus disc, stock full or pack full of uh, special features and such. <clears throat> and I just thought I would kind of showcase that because I've included this box set on a box set video, but I never did it really an unboxing, so to speak. So, and if you're really a fan, before I get to the countdown, I also want to recommend one of the best documentaries I have ever seen, and it's called Crystal Lake Memories. And by the complete, complete history of Friday the 13th, it's exactly that. This baby is over eight hours long. It covers everything. I mean, everything you could possibly want to know about Friday the 13th is covered in this documentary. So again, if you're a fan of this franchise in general and you've never seen this or you don't own this, by all means, seek this out. This is a fantastic uh, documentary about the Friday the 13th franchise. Now, this coming Friday is Friday the 13th, and I figured everybody and their brother who hasn't already done so will be posting a ranking of their uh, picks on Friday. And I figured, what the hell? I'm a slave to fashion. I'll do the same, but I'm going to post mine a little bit early. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start from number 12. We're going to work our way down to number one. And I want to stress this is... These rankings are strictly on my own personal tastes upon watchability factor. I've seen every one of these movies multiple times, some more than others. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the way I'm ranking these, it's not in quality. It's how I feel. If I was going to pick one, which one would I want to watch first and down the line? So we're going to start at number 12. I've gone on record before. We're starting off with... Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. Uh, trigger warning coming up. Here comes some bad language, so you might want to mute my video for 10 seconds. I fucking hate this video, or this, this movie. I've always hated this movie. Uh, the, the opening sequence is brilliant. It's, it's great. It really is, especially when they blow them to pieces, you know? But everything from that point on is just ridiculous including the final shot of Freddy Krueger's glove coming out of the ground and dragging the hockey mask down. This movie sucks. I know it has fans. Again, that's fine. I understand. Art is subjective. I wouldn't call Jason Goes to Hell art, but I understand why some people do like this movie, but I am not one of them. So dead last on our countdown is Jason Goes to Hell, the fr final Friday. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Uh, I didn't go into the specifics like I should have. This one is directed by Adam Marcus, and it was released in 1993. So, number 12, Jason Goes to Hell the Final Friday. Number 11 is Friday the 13th, Jason Takes Manhattan, Part 8. Or as I have called it on videos, Jason Takes a Boat Ride, or Jason Takes Vancouver. I don't like this movie either. For years, I thought this was the worst one that they would ever come out with. This one uh, was directed by Rob Hedden. This one came out in 1989. For years, I thought this was the worst that they would ever possibly be in the franchise. And then I saw Jason Goes to Hell. Again, there's a couple of moments in this movie that are a lot of fun, especially the fight with the boxing kid on the roof where he says, take your best shot, takes his head off with one shot, and then the head lands in the dumpster. Great moment. And the muggers, great moment, but too few and far between. 
I do not like this movie. Number 10 is the team up everybody was waiting for. Freddy versus Jason. This one does not have Kane Hodder as Jason, but it does have Robert Englund as Freddy. This one was directed by Ronnie Yu, and this one came out in 2003. I really enjoyed this movie the first time I saw it theatrically. I, I thought it was dumb, but I, I did enjoy it for what it was. But upon repeated viewings, it's definitely gone downhill in my opinion. Uh, again, it's got some fun moments, but when it's all said and done, it's not a good movie at all. Mainly the reason why this movie even existed was for New Line to keep the rights to the uh, Jason character. So, yeah, don't like it. Number nine. This might be a shock to a lot of people. We're going with Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D. This one came out in 1982. And I saw it in 3D theatrically and loved it. This one is directed by Steve Miner. Uh, the problem is, is that if you don't watch this movie in 3D, it's annoying as hell. Every character in this movie is annoying. But I do like the fact that Jason gets his hockey mask in this one. And there are some really memorable kills in this one. The kid getting split in half with the machete while he's uh, upside down is one. And the iconic eyeball popping out in 3D at the theater. That looked amazing. <laughs> it really did. But uh, overall, I, I've never been a fan of this movie, even though I know it is beloved by many in the franchise. Number eight, more shocks for you. We're going with Jason X, or Jason Goes to Space. This one is directed by Jim Isaac, and it came out in 2002. And this movie is completely, completely ridiculous and stupid and bad, and every negative thing everybody ever says about it is absolutely true. I don't care. I have a ball watching this movie, and I always have. The callback on the holodeck to the scene in Crystal Lake circa 1980 with the, with the uh, two camper girls. You want to smoke some pot? You want to have sex? We love premarital sex. That entire sequence to me is worth the price of admission alone. So I will always have a soft spot for this piece of shit. It is a piece of shit. Don't get me wrong. But it's my piece of shit. I will always really enjoy Jason X. Number seven. We're going with Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. Again, I know this one is beloved among fans of the franchise. Most put this right towards the top of the list. This one's directed by Tom McLaughlin. Uh, stars uh, Tom, uh, is it Tom Matthews? Yes, Tom Matthews from uh, Return of the Living Dead. And out of all the Friday the 13th movies, this one is probably the most well-made, well-acted, my problem with this is that it's basically a sitcom. There's way too much humor in this movie, although it's not quite as ridiculous as Jason X and a couple of the other uh, installments that came after this. But again, it's just overly broad. And out of all the films, this one has the least amount of blood. I cannot think of one kill in this entire film that I would put in the top 20 kills for the franchise. Again, it's not a bad movie. I do enjoy it. But it's not one of my favorites. Next, we have Friday the 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. Or, as I call it, Scooby-Doo Friday the 13th. Because the whole, let's find out who Jason really was, is ridiculous. Roy the Ambulance Driver. This one's directed by Danny Steinman. Who basically, other than this movie, basically did uh, pornography. And watching this movie, you can understand why. This is the most scuzzy out of all the films. It has the highest body count up to that point. It had definitely the most nudity in it. And this movie's scuzzy. It really is. But you know what? I've always really enjoyed it for what it is. It's a great slasher movie. It's got some great kills in it. And I enjoy it. I still do. The, re the ending, I do not like at all. But up until that point, I got to admit, I have a good time when I watch this. This was one of the, uh, when I was working at the theater, 
the first theater or first one in the series that was playing while I was working there was part four. And I worked there through four all the way through Jason Takes Manhattan. And out of all of the Friday the 13th movies, this one played the best theatrically in my theater. This one in, in final chapter. But this one, people were losing their shit watching this movie. Okay. One, two, three. Top five. Number five is Friday the 13th, part seven, The New Blood. Or as I like to call it, Jason versus Carrie. This one is directed by John Carlo. John Carl Beekler and uh, has a decent cast. Kane Hodder's back, of course, is Jason, but uh, it has uh, the guy from Weekend at Bernie's whose uh, name escapes me at the moment. Terry Kaiser. Terry Kaiser. Uh, again, ridiculous movie, okay? And way back in the day, this one would have been towards the bottom, but through the years, it has steadily gone up the ratings because, again, it's just fun. And there's some great kills in this movie, including my favorite kill in the entire franchise, which is the sleeping bag kill. I love this movie. I really do. That's why it's number five. Number four is Friday the 13th, the reboot from 2009. This one is directed by Marcus Nispel. And again, this one has a decent cast. Daniel Panamaker and uh, Jared Pelecki from um, Supernatural. And this is kind of, other than being a reboot, reboot, it's kind of like the first three movies combined into one. And I actually really like it. I don't like the characters in the movie. There, there's a couple of characters in this movie that I was hoping would die quickly because they were just so goddamn annoying. But again, there is some brutal, brutal kills in this movie, especially the unrated killer cut, as they call it. And again, the sleeping bag thing. Maybe I've got a sleeping bag obsession. I mentioned it in Jason X. I mentioned it in the New Blood. There's a version of the sleeping bag kill in this one that is more brutal than either of the other two. It might be one of the most brutal kills in the entire franchise. I really, really enjoyed this movie much more than I planned on because, again, I've gone on record. I do not like remakes. I do not like reboots, especially of horror movies. This is one of the better ones. Number three, we're going to the original, Friday the 13th. This one's directed by Sean S. Cunningham. Special effects work from Tom Savini. And again, decent cast in this one. Headlined, of course, by Kevin Bacon and Betsy Palmer, among others. But this is the one that started it all. And most people forget, you know, or when they're watching it the first time, they keep waiting for Jason to show up, not realizing that it's Jason's mom. I re remember seeing this on cable when it came out. I did not see this one theatrically. First one theatrically I saw was uh, part three in 3D. But this movie scared the hell out of me the first time I saw it. And again, the a, a couple of the kills are absolutely incredible. They still hold up, especially uh, the axe in the face and, of course, Kevin Bacon getting the arrow through the throat. But Friday the 13th is a classic, and it always will be. Number two is Friday the 13th, part two. For years, this one was my favorite. Well, I shouldn't say for years, because you all know it's number one, and that'll be up next, and it comes out a couple of years after this. But this one will always be very high in my list. And it's got my favorite final girl out of all of the films, Amy Steele, even though she says Paul way too many times in this movie towards the end. Uh, if you were to do a drinking game every time she goes, Paul, Paul, is that you, Paul? You would die of alcohol poisoning in 10 minutes. But I love Friday the 13th Part 2. This is Baghead Jason. And it's got, again, one of my top five kills in the entire franchise. The guy in the wheelchair getting the machete across the face. And then the wheelchair, of course, going down the stairs. It's absolutely brutal. It was shocking, you know, 40 years ago, and it still is. I love this movie. But number one, I just mentioned it, is Friday the 13th, the final chapter. This one is directed by Joseph Zito. Tom Savini came back to do the uh, special effects for this. And this one has got a really interesting, eclectic cast with Peter Barton, Crispin Glover, and a very young Corey Feldman. 
And as a matter of fact, Corey Feldman is the one who kills Jason. And the way he kills Jason with the machete going through his head at the end is brilliant. It is one of the best effects in any horror movie of the 80s that was rated R. I'm not including any of the zombie type movies or unrated movies. But that moment, again, theatrically, people lost their minds watching this movie. And it's my favorite and always will be. I absolutely love the final chapter. So to recap, number one is the final chapter. Number two is part two. Number three is the original. Number four is the reboot. Number five is the new blood. Number six is a new beginning. Number seven is Jason, or I'm sorry, uh, Jason Lives. Number eight is Jason X. Number nine is part three. Number 10 is Freddy versus Jason. Number 11 is Jason Takes Manhattan. And number 12 is Jason Goes to Hell. And again, I want to mention again how incredible this documentary, Crystal Lake Memories, is. So I hope you enjoyed this ranking. And if you did, please, again, give me a thumbs up, a possible subscribe. Most importantly, please leave comments below. I cannot wait to hear from you. And we'll see you on the next one.